thank you. Oh my gosh, you're amazing. Okay, I went to watch it. I'm in LA, so I went to Netflix, got to watch it on the big screen, and I literally, my jaw was dropped the entire time. You killed it. Thank you. Have you seen it all the way through yet? Um, yes, I've seen it six times. Six times? <laughs> do you ever get sick of it or do you just love it every single time? I, lo I, like, I notice something different each time and I just want to, yeah, I could watch it all day if I could. <laughs> Yeah. Going back to when you found out you got the part, how, when did you audition and then when did you find out? Um, so I auditioned when I was 10 um, yeah. and I go to a stage school called Talented Kids and they sent me in to see if I want to do a self-tape. Um, so I sent off the self-tape because I was like, yes, definitely. I'd love to um, self-tape for it and then I was meant to fly over but because of COVID I couldn't so I right. did over that whole year kind of COVID slowed kind of everything down so I did them on Zoom and then when COVID had died down I got asked to fly over um, and do one in person and then two weeks later on my mum's birthday I was meant to do like another Zoom I think and yeah. my mom was like Matthew wants to talk to you and I was like I didn't really know what to think because it could have been no or yes like sim simple could have been yes or no so I didn't want to get too excited in case right. it was a no so um, when he said I got the part I just my whole family was there my sisters and my dad and my mom and my dog so we were all just <laughs> shocked and we couldn't believe it and I just burst into tears because I was so happy. Oh my gosh, right. And the timeline. So it was like a lot built up, you know? Yes. Oh my God, that's crazy. Have you always wanted to be in movies and in TV shows and stuff? Have you always been like a kid on camera? And um, my I've got two older sisters, Katie and Emma Jane, and they kind of they did it before me. So when I was born, I just kind of grew into it and I'd follow them around in the car, you know dropping them and picking them up and I was just waiting until I was old enough so when I could get in there and start so I think I just kind of grew into it and it was something that I always wanted to do. What did your sister say to you do you remember when they found out that you got the part because obviously they've been doing it and then you booked this massive role. I think they were just really proud of me and they were like we just all couldn't believe it we were shocked I we didn't I didn't know how because I, I knew there was like thousands of incredible um, kids that must have auditioned. So I don't know how, but I was really grateful that it did happen. And do you, are you, do you use TikTok? Um, sort of. Okay, yeah. So, okay. So with social media, like obviously when Netflix films comes out, people tend to blow up on social media. So are you kind of waiting for the storm of everything to come in or are you just kind of excited for everybody to see it? I'm just really excited for everyone to see it um, because it's been over such a long period of time. I can't wait for it to finally come out and that everyone can see it. And yeah, I'm just really excited. And you did a red carpet already. So how did you feel walking the red carpet? It was very, very surreal. Like people were like, how does it feel? And I was like, <laughs> I, just, I just can't believe it like it just doesn't feel real at the moment I don't know if it will ever sink in what what has yeah. just happened but I it was just really surreal how long did it take you to get ready hour maybe half an hour <laughs> <laughs> do you love doing glam like do you like getting your hair done making sure your nails are done or are you kind of yeah. like a tomboy no I like getting my hair done and my nails done <laughs> And are you, okay, so when you're not doing the whole acting thing, what is, what do you love to do? Well, just kind of hang out with my friends and see my friends at school. And when I was in primary school, there was like um, a Gaelic football team. So I played that with some of my friends because my friends were doing it and just kind of seeing my friends and yeah. Hanging out, being a kid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say was the hardest scene to film? Um, so probably the hardest, but my favorite maybe to film was when I got to, it was a bit in Naughty where I had to go upside down and sing. It was probably hard <laughs> because I had like a lot of different things to think about. Cause like when I had to go up there, I had to make sure like I was in the correct position. I wasn't going to fall. And then I also had to like sing up there and listen out for the music and all but it was definitely one of my favorites because it was so much fun as well yeah. um so yeah did you ever think you'd sing upside down in a netflix movie 
No. <laughs> nope. Never thought that happened. <laughs> in the film, Matilda has to lean on Miss Honey a lot. Like she confides in her for advice and obviously guidance and stuff like that. Who would you say in your real life do you confide in and go to for the most advice? Well, I think my family and my friends, my mom and my dad and my two older sisters and also my grandparents and my dog, but <laughs> just like all my family and my friends have always been there for me. So that's who I go to. Okay, quick game until we have to wrap. It's this or that. So there's two scenarios and you'll pick, okay? Okay. Okay, candy or ice cream? Mm, sweets, like candy. Candy. <laughs> sleep in or get up early? Sleep in. Yeah, <laughs> the big sleeper. Water park or amusement park? Water park um singing or dancing do you have a preference of what one or the other <laughs> hmm <That's>, um <laughs> maybe both? <laughs> yeah both <laughs> both matilda would say both so we'll go with both <laughs> <laughs> um fly or be invisible what superpower would you want invisible invisible live in the sky or live under the sea live in the sky good matilda moment when you're up there and <laughs> yeah in the air balloon read or watch tv mm. <laughs> matilda would say read definitely <laughs> um What did Alicia say? <laughs> uh, maybe it depends on what I'm feeling. Okay, it's a mood thing. Yeah, it's a mood. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last one. Give advice or ask for advice? Maybe. I mean, if you give advice, surely you know, like, you don't need to ask for advice because you know what's going on yourself. So you don't need to ask advice if you are giving advice. So yeah. maybe give, give advice. Yeah, love the train of thought. You're amazing. Congratulations on Matilda. And I can't wait for the world to see this.